It's time for Dinox Tech Reviews. Dinox Tech Reviews number 39. Dinox Reviews Kaploosh for the 3DS eShop. Hello YouTube, this is Dianskun speaking once again, and today I'm going to be reviewing a 3DS eShop game called Kaploosh. Yes, that's the actual name of the game. This game was released earlier this year on March 7th, 2013 at a reasonable price of $2.99 and it's a pretty innovative game that is surprisingly fun to play. The main story of this game are different people throwing different objects in a well and the objective of this game is to land the object you choose all the way down through the well making a splash while avoiding obstacles. This game is really short with only 10 levels to unlock which can range from 1 to 3 minutes each. You can literally pass the entire game in about an hour if you make no mistakes. You can start the game with a regular stone with 100 HP and you can unlock other objects if you clear with a specific object at a certain amount of time. The difficulty is based on the objects themselves. For example, if you use a bouncy ball that has infinite HP, it's super easy and you can never lose. But it may take longer for it to reach to the bottom compared to other fast objects such as a jewel. Very quick yet very fragile with only 80 HP and thus making the difficulty quite high. And good luck trying never to get hit with an ultra fast multigen that only has 1 HP and the fastest object in the game. If you actually can pass a level with it, you might as well win a real gamer trophy. There are also other objects you can throw in there like a bowling ball that has 999 HP and lasts a long time to a watermelon with 200 HP. Both objects mention that they are quite slow in speed but extremely great in boost powers. There are a few other objects you can throw in there such as a wooden fish, an egg, a matrioska, and a plate. Yeah, that's crazy what's being thrown in this well. There are 10 objects in total in this game as well. Not only are objects thrown in this well ridiculous, but the obstacle you find inside of this well are also ridiculous. <laughs> like pizza and donuts in old wells. Pizzas can block your path while donuts can give you a certain speed boost. Yellow balloons can restore some of your health depending on the size. Some of the donuts and yellow balloons are fake and can hold you back in time. So be careful not to be fooled. Inside the well you may even come across fire cannons, waterfalls, windmills, and other crazy stuff in there. So it's quite addictive to get through all these obstacles. Even if the game is very short, if you have enjoyed the game in the first playthrough, you may want to replay the game again. It's a great time killer in case you are bored and want to play while waiting in line for something. The graphics of this game is pretty well detailed and so are the awesome level designs. They are quite pleasing on the eyes as well. The music is quite nice and catchy. It's a shame that there are only 4 music in the entire game and during gameplay and throughout all 4 levels, it's always the same music even though it's very catchy and great in the air. So I guess that makes up for it. As for the conclusion of this game, it's very short and after unlocking all 10 stages and objects, there isn't really much you can do else in this game unless you want to replay the level to beat your own record or try to beat a stage with the mutagen. Heh, <laughs> good luck. It's quite addictive and you won't really get bored of this game playing it multiple times if you are looking for something new to play or enjoy obstacle gaming. Also very easy on your wallet. I give Kiplush for the Nintendo 3DS eShop a 7 out of 10. <laughs>